The Nevada County Office of Emergency Services says the so-called bomb cyclone that hit Northern California in late October dropped double digit inches of rainfall on the area in a matter of three days. That's why they're telling people to start stocking up on sandbags now ahead of this weekend storm. I think we're going to want at least 10. Mary Elizabeth admits. I think we're going to want 10, yeah. This is her first time filling sandbags. My neighbor called me. She said, hey, remember that stream that was going down the side of your house, uh, the last rainstorm we had? I said, yeah. She said, well, there's sandbags available. And I said, great. She said the last storm and the flooding that came with it took her by surprise. No, oh, it was uh, unexpected and uh, unprepared for and a lot all at once. And it looks like that's what's coming again. That's why she's preparing this time with sandbags. Nevada County is one of several counties or cities in our area offering sandbags to people who live there. Citrus Heights, for example, has them available at City Hall. We need to you know, look after each other. And the county is doing it with the sand, and we really appreciate it. For people traveling up US 50 or I 80 for the weekend, Caltrans says be prepared for a very long and snowy drive back on Sunday. If they're heading back home on Sunday, they're really going to be driving in the worst conditions for the storm. So, with that, we're going to expect chain controls, possibly having to hold traffic, significant delays for people trying to get back to Sacramento or the Bay Area on Sunday afternoon. Now, here in Nevada County, there are four places where people who live here can fill up sandbags for free. We have this list plus the list of other cities and counties offering free sandbags on abc10.com.